Hey guys, Jelena Jensen here with your favorite baldy, Limpy, welcoming you to this week's free MMORPG Weekly News. So let's get started. Alright guys, last week we had some interesting news out of the End of Nations camp. I know that game kind of seemed like it was shelved for a while, but last week we got the news that the game is now moving from an MMORTS to a MOBA. So that ought to be really interesting to see how that turns out. It's still supposed to be real-time strategy, but in a MOBA environment. Now, real-time strategy kind of fits a MOBA environment anyways, but let's just hope that they really pull it off. It's going to be something new and different out of Tryon Worlds, so I expect that this free-to-play title is really going to turn some heads. Now, Jelena, you've got some sad news for us, so why don't you tell us what's going on over with uh, Arcane Saga? I really hate starting off negative, Limpy. The Arcane Saga cash shop has been permanently closed, and the game's servers will go offline September 16th. The Arcane Saga GM staff has planned a number of special events to commemorate the game's second closure. Gamers can anticipate XP boosts and a memorable boss event. And as a final thank you to gamers, Netmarble is offering special packages on its other PC online titles, District 187, Uncharted Waters Online, and Dice Venture. As well, any NC that Arcane Saga players have saved up, they will be able to spend on other titles. Didn't we just announce this game launching like a month ago, Limpy? We sure did, Jelena. I know, amazing, right? But it happens. So let's move on to a game that's just getting started. Now, Virtual Anglers, it's time to cast your lines in the new and improved fishing MMO, Fishing Hero. No more hiccups, no more delays. You can almost smell the swordfish as you cruise through the various locales searching for the largest and rarest fish in the sea. Compete with friends or enjoy some time on your own boat. Anyone is free to join the open beta from July 11th to July 31st. Now, barring any major issues, the full version of the game will be released shortly after the open beta test ends. Now, to join the open beta test, install the latest open beta client, and then all that's left to do is log in with your Z8 Games account and have some fun. So grab your rod, open a cold one, and get ready to drift off to Barracudaville. Now it's time for Jelena to tell us a little bit about the big week that League of Legends had last week. League of Legends certainly did have quite the week last week, Limpy. The first announcement this week came out of Washington and was a huge bit of news not only for League of Legends, but also for other esports. League of Legends is now recognized as a sport in the United States, thus allowing for gamers to more easily obtain visas when traveling to the U.S. for high-level tournaments. Following that came the news about the all-new patch 3.9 and the change to several fan-favorite characters to help balance the game. Also, changes have been made to Vision Items and Oracle's Elixir. So, Limpy, I hear that Mars is going to teach you to not fail so much in League of Legends. Think these changes will help? Well, I'll probably still fail fish pretty hard, but hey, whatever. Let's move on to this week's news from Firefall. Red 5 Studios wants to know what you think about the highly anticipated free-to-play open-world shooter Firefall. Experience for yourself the unique skill-based vertical combat within a sci-fi universe during the recently launched open beta test. All new starter packs are also now available, offering players exclusive items, progression boosts, and immediate access to advanced battle frames. And to celebrate the open beta launch, Stage 5 TV has created a new live-action trailer that explores the rich story world of Firefall and gives gamers a first peek at the leader of the chosen invasion. Now it sounds like it's time for some thumper action. Wait, what do you think about that, Jelena? Wait, what? I'm going to ignore that, since I'm not sure what you're getting at. Plus, World of Tanks has my focus right now. And the British are coming. World of Tanks has added a new branch of British self-propelled guns for players to take onto the battlefield. Mid-tier entrants include the Sexton, Bishop, and the Crusader, while higher-tier entries for the British lines will allow gamers to climb into the hatches of a number of post-World War II prototypes that never actually saw combat, including the experimental gun carriage vehicle, the Conqueror. But let's not leave the Reds out of the fray. Other additions to Update 8.7 include a chilling and unforgiving Russian winter map. As well, the Tier 5 Soviet light tank, the T-52, will be replaced by the MT-25. Gamers will not be disappointed by this distinctive light tank known for its acceleration and powerful gun. So, not sure if Limpy has told you guys, but he has a thing for robots. 
Well, actually, nanobots. Uh, you know me all too well. But these robots are meant to destroy something a bit different from the nanobots that I'm enamored by. Robots are intense enough, but robots with guns, the possibilities are downright scary. Masthead Studios has just announced major updates and a rebalance in their free-to-play online shooter guns and robots. Now, players of similar skill levels will be matched together for a more balanced team setup, allowing more freedom to improve and employ different gameplay style. As well as some content changes coming soon, there's also now a clear boundary between the light, medium, and heavy classes. And who doesn't hate lineups? In Guns N' Robot, no one just twiddles their thumbs while waiting in the game queue. Players can practice their skills before the match by shooting at pesky space visitors in the minigame within the game. Alright Jelena, take us home. Alright guys, that's all for this week, but for more info on all these titles, head on over to MMODen.com. Also, remember to comment on this and other MMO Den weekly videos and earn a chance to win one of our five weekly prizes given out each and every Monday. For now, this is Jelena Jensen for MMO Den. Until next time, pathetic balls and thanks for watching.